All right, so here is the original gas cap, right? You're going to have three screw, three long screws. One, two, three. So in the shape of a triangle towards the front of the bike, front of the bike's that way, you have one, two, three long screws, and you're going to have two short screws. Now, the <clears throat> two short screws don't actually screw into anything, which is kind of weird, but whatever. Um... <clears throat> And here are the original screws. So you've got the two short screws that are going to go here or come off. And then you've got the three long ones that go here. All right. <clears throat> and I'm using a four millimeter um, wrench, Allen head, uh, to remove it. So. Took the screws out and put the key in here and anyway Release the cap and it comes right off. Okay, so The kit comes with This ring here that's gonna flush up against the inside of there To seal it, but then they're saying that you want to put this hose in here because that is where the um, the vent port is it's saying to put it in there without crushing it so that's pretty easy to do without crushing it um, because the old one just had the vent port right here just sat flush with that vent port so anyway I just want to show you where it goes into because I, cause there's another hole, but that's obviously not the vent port. That's it. Seeing as that's where it was. Okay, so there also. <clears throat> let me put this back on so I don't drop nothing in my gas tank. So, so they're giving you is they're giving you these like three spacers, whatever you would. They're calling them pins. Okay, they're giving you three long bolts, or three long screws with pins, and then you have two small screws with um, nuts. So the two small screws with nuts are going to be put on right there and there on the new one, okay? because uh, they don't actually attach to anything and they give you a nylon thread uh, they're nylon threaded so <clears throat> they'll hold tight you don't have to worry about them backing out um, and then they're giving you giving you three of these little o-rings and the reason you're putting they give you those o-rings is because when you put this in the top of here right on the new one and you slide this underneath it then if you try to put it on this pin will fall down and could fall into your gas tank so they're just giving you the little ring so that when you put this in on the other when you put the pin, they're calling this the pin, on the other side of, underside of this, that little O-ring will hold the screw in place on the pin. Alright, that's what the O-ring is, those O-rings are for. Alright, <clears throat> so I got it all set up. I'm just leaving that on there for now. Anyway, so here's where it looks like all set up, okay? Um... These are calling these, they're calling these the pins, right? And see how they mushroom out? So they mushroom out and you see where they go, okay? And then the rubber, <clears throat> rubber washers, the small rubber O-rings go there. So you have the long three screws, one, two, three there. And you got the short ones here. And the short ones actually, I forgot to mention, have washers so they come with this kit comes with two washers 
and locking uh, nylock nuts. So that's what it looks like. <clears throat> like I said, if you don't put the little O-ring on there, when you go to like this, flip it, it's going to fall in your damn gas tank. So that ain't good. Um, so I'm going to take this off now. And I'm going to go ahead and set this hose in here. See as far as it'll go. Alright. And it'll hold right there. So I'm going to try to line it up, and uh, this, the, the old, or the uh, factory one, is a 4 millimeter. This now, if you can see it, is a 3 millimeter. Yeah, so this one's a 3 millimeter. It's one smaller than the factory. <clears throat> so I'm doing my best to line these up here. It's lined up. And... I'll give it a little bit there. Just trying to get a little bite. All right. This is kind of thin, so I don't want to break these, but I'm going as tight as I feel is reasonable. It's on, and uh, like I said, there's a rubber gasket, a rubber ring that's right under here, and it flushes against <clears throat> the hole in the gas tank that's here. And so, there it is, it's installed, and there's the actual cap. So, there's a little spring here, push the spring in. And when you hear that click, that means it's locked. Alright, so there it is. Set it install keyless gas cap. Actually pretty nice. That wasn't that bad. Alright, and I'm going to back away. So you can see how it looks. Looks pretty cool, man. My bike is red. I'm going with the blue accents. Got some blue bar ends. That's blue, and I'm going to go with little blue accents wherever I can. Because this bike is... I just think that's pretty cool. And that's my little setup there. If you guys are curious, it's a little arm that I got on Amazon <clears throat> that holds my phone in place for videos. I'm just using my phone. All right, if you guys have any questions, leave them. I don't think you're going to, but if you have any, <laughs> leave them. And uh, if this has helped you at all, um, please like it and subscribe to me. Uh, I'm not going to send out a bunch of garbage. <clears throat> um, and I'm not going to pester you, but thanks for watching, okay?